Hi all, welcome back. So today we are going to discuss one of the very important feature in Appian that is the file upload one. Okay, this feature has been blocker for many time. Okay, what was the blocker actually is that when you try to upload an image, then first of all you have to upload the image, then in order to preview the image you have to click some other button as well. But now if you see here, I am trying to upload the image and directly the image is getting uploaded here. I don't have to do anything else. Directly I can upload the image and at the same time I am able to see the preview as well. So this has enabled with the help of a new feature submit upload files. Okay, that's what we are going to see like how to use this functionality, how does it work. Okay, so let's go here and let's try to configure this. We will try to configure that particular component. Okay, we don't need any sections here. Okay, and then we just need here upload file. Okay, I have tried to upload the file here. Okay, now once I will try to upload, let's try to configure this upload file once. Okay, so what we will do here is that uh, we will take here, okay, a local variable in which like whatever the file has been downloaded we will try to store that file into this local variable okay okay local bank file now what we will do here is that the value okay the value is going to be local bank file and the save into as well is going to be local bank file okay and now the target where you want to save that is that is a very important part for that we need a constant to you know like store that data into somewhere so let's say like do we have any folder for storing that value here okay for constant let's see that okay so this is the folder that I am going to use in order to upload the files here okay so I will write here cons bang and this is my pointer okay so this is the pointer for this one now this is going to be the target okay now what after that what will happen here if i try to upload the file the file will get uploaded here and you we will get a document id as well okay which is very important for example if i try to use it then see here one document id also got generated but does this document id works all right let's try to find it out just above that we will try to take a columns layout okay and in the columns layout we will try to use the document function because if a document function is there then only we can do that okay i will try to have a loop because let's say somebody has uploaded multiple documents so multiple file it will be okay and in the in the expression we will take a column layout okay and in the column layout I will have the contents first of all I will make the contents here as if let's say like no file or document is there right we don't want the document function to break so if it is null or empty local buying file then I will just show here a rich text display field uh, here that there has been no image at all okay rich text item and the text is going to be no image uploaded that's it okay otherwise what i will take here is that i will take a card layout okay and then in the contents of the card layout what i will do here is that as of now let's see here contents only okay so as of now if i click on test interface okay let me just click on test we don't need the okay see here if nothing is there then nothing is breaking here otherwise in this card layout i will take a image field here okay and the image field is going to have images and images is going to have the document image okay so uh, images is going to be have a document image kind of thing document image here okay and now the document okay the document is going to be document of document id is going to be let's say fv bang item okay this is the document and here it will just try to or directly it is 
nothing we didn't just need the document only that is more than enough see it is not even breaking i am using a document image but it is not breaking but as soon as i try to upload a file let's see what happens here what it will do here is that it will try to store that data okay so it, it is just assuming here that if it is null or empty if local bank file is null or empty then it is showing restricts otherwise it will show card layout but here again like nothing was showing here okay now what we need to next thing what we need to do here is that in the save into this is the new functionality that has been added okay so i will use here submit uploaded files that's it so on success what i will do here is that uh, let me just create a success variable at as well okay local bank success nothing we just have to write like on success what will happen so on success you have to save here local bank success and in that let's say true i will save it there and then there will be on error as well on error okay and here as well we will save here in local bank success let's say false okay if, if success is there then true if error is there then false now let's click on test interface and this time we will try to see it okay let me just click on upload here okay and click on uh okay done see now you are able to see the preview success is true it means the particular document will get stored here as well if you see here under notebook uh, ask for something like this and here as well same name is referred here if what if what will happen if i try to upload another document see uh, another document i uploaded and another document i will be able to see the preview at the same time both the preview if uh, I am able to see the same time so this has this feature is very very important it is saving one click of us okay third image also you are able to see if I upload the fourth image as soon as I upload the fourth image you are able to see the fourth image as well great so all these things we are able to see at just one click only this is very good feature okay from now onwards you can stop implying these changes into the project it will save the clicks only thing here is that you know, like no matter what will happen all those documents will get stored in your folder okay so if it is a, some big document or anything you might have to delete those documents let's say like uh, i uploaded four images and i don't want these two other image but it's removing from here doesn't delete the document actually from here it's got stored in the system anyway okay so that we have to take care separately but this is a very nice feature directly we can submit the uploaded files and preview on the same go only okay so that was all for now thank you